Now you may have noticed a very certain anomaly with the pagination. And remember that we said that the page.astro root should do pre-rendering, meaning that it's going to do static site generation. And as such, if you add a new article, even though the article will come up, the pagination will not show it. So we need to change how the pagination works. One thing is for sure that we cannot use pre-rendering. Now, if we can't use pre-rendering, it also means that we won't be able to use the built-in pagination because get static parts is not something that we can use on server-side rendering. So in fact, what I'm going to do is just delete the entire page.estro file and we're going to be starting this out from scratch. Okay, so what we need to do is we're going to add back the layout just so make sure that we have that and then we will have the h1 we're going to show the page number in here then we're going to have the unordered list again with the list items and then we're going to have the links to go between the previous and the next page edit right here okay so what we need to do is first of all create a page variable where we're going to make sure that we parse the astro.params.page as an integer and then we need to also specify a posts per page variable which i'm going to be setting to have the value of two and then we'll need to use the fetch api function that we've created and we're going to go out to the user endpoint of blogs. And we're not going to use web by list or web by key or anything. We're just going to add a query. And if you go to the Strapi documentation, you should be able to find this page called sort and pagination in where you can actually find how to run a query for pagination. And there's a section called pagination by page. And so we need to make sure that we pass a page and a page size as well and luckily for us our endpoint can handle that so I'm going to say pagination here page and then this one is going to take that page value and then pagination page size is then going to take the posts per page or articles per page Okay, and then we're going to extract articles and we need to say response. Actually, let's make sure that this is in a variable called the response. So we can now do response.data. And if you recall, we also get back some metadata, which is about the pagination. So here's the pagination metadata. So I'm going to collect that as well separately. And that's going to be response.meta.pagination. Okay, so now we have that. So we can now use page, which is going to come from the file name itself. So it's going to be page one, page two, just like before. And now we can also iterate through the articles, where for each article, again, we'll just make sure that we print out the list item. And the href is going to be still the same, so blog. And now we can access article.attributes.slug, for example. And then in here, we can also specify article.attributes. I'm sorry, not slug, but title here. And the links, we need to kind of have our logic revised. So we're going to say pagination.page if it's less than one. Then we're going to to href and then in here we're just going to go to slash blog slash and then use pagination dot page minus one okay so this is going to be the previous page and then we're going to say something like pagination dot page so if it is less than pagination dot page count then we're going to say href is going to be to slash blog slash and then pagination dot page plus one and then this is going to be next page okay so now we have one quick issue to fix which is not attribute but attributes 
and hopefully things will work now. So now if you go back to the browser, we still get the pagination. Okay, so this seems to be working. However, notice that the actual articles will not work. That's because we're trying to render the same path, right? So now page and slug are both reading the same stuff pretty much automatically. So Astro won't know if page is actually a number or a slug. So there's no way that it can differentiate between the two. So a solution for this would be to create a new folder inside Bog, call that page, and inside page, just move page.estro there. And so now we basically extract the pagination logic to its own separate root. And then we now have the slug root still remaining inside the blog folder. So we can hit save now and we now get the blog post to come up. But we need to update our link here. And so we can't go to blog slash one. We need to go blog page slash one to get to the first page, so on and so forth. So we need to update these links, which we can do inside page.estro. So instead of saying slash blog slash the actual page, we need to just add slash page here. And we can also go into the Astro configuration file and potentially do a redirect. So we can do a redirect and we can say that slash blog goes to slash blog slash page, or we can go back to our nav component and we can just say that this is going to go to slash page slash one. And then of course you would need to implement this for the Spanish page as well. So let's see, home works. If we go to blog, this is page one, page two, page three, and let's read this article and everything works. So your homework is to do the same for the Spanish blog as well, because currently this still uses the old format. And some additional things that you can look into in terms of, you know, a potential homework, when you notice that there are some things in here that are being used in both the English and the Spanish blog. So maybe try to extract the format relative time function to its own function. You would have to add, you know, like a second parameter called a locale and then reference that here inside the relative time format method call. And just try to make this application a little bit leaner. But I tried to show you as much as I could as part of this workshop. So just to recap, we went through the basics of Astro. We went through the basics of Strapi. We learned about dynamic zones and about different content types, how to actually expose components so that building a landing page becomes really easy, as well as we looked at how to grab data from the actual CMS itself, so blog posts. And then we had a look at internationalization as well. And we saw both how you can render pages using a static site generation, as well as how you need to update your code so that service side rendering mode is enabled so that you get more fresh content out of the CMS. As a kind reminder, if you want to still use static site generation, you can, but you need to create a deployment hook with your deployment provider so that when there is a new post that is being saved inside Strapi, you trigger an entire rebuild of your page, which is also a viable solution. And I showed you the code to handle both of these scenarios. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this workshop and that you learned something about Strapi as well as Astro. Thank you for watching and please take care. Thank you.